Hello and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to show you how to make a simple concrete texture. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is delete the default cube. You can, I'm going to replace this now with the UV spear. And now we're going to go to shading. We're going to press new. And now we're going to start. First thing we're going to want to do is we're going to grab ourselves a color ramp. So we're going to go shift A. Color ramp. And we're going to link that there. You now click on the black arrow here, you click on the blackness, and you're going to link this up to slightly greyish, so it's a grey to white transition on the colour ramp. We're now going to go Shift A again, and we're going to press search, and we're going to type in bump. There we go, and we're going to put that there, we're going to link normal to normal. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to get ourselves a second colour ramp, we're going to go Shift A. And then we're going to write color ramp and put that there. We're going to link. We no. We're going to now increase the darkness here. Now we're also going to go shift A and grab ourselves a musgrave texture and put that there. Now we're going to get ourselves a mix RGB shader and put that in the middle. We're going to link color to color one. But actually, we're going to link the color ramp to color two. We're going to link the facts here to colour 1, and this output to facts, and then this output to height on our bump node. And it starts with making this weird alien type effect. Which is quite cool in a way, but it's not really what we're going for, we're going for a concrete texture. We're now going to shift click on the musgrain texture, and press Control T. And that will automatically give us a mapping texture, and a texture coordinate node. If it doesn't automatically do that for you, you want to go to Edit, Preferences, click on Add-ons, and type in Node, and make sure the Node Wrangler is Text. There we go. We want to change the Texture Coordinate to Object to Vector, so just drag that over. Now it's also made this quite a cool texture again. So now we're going to start fine-tuning the settings to make it look right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Musgrave texture here, and we're going to set this to be 2.6. We're going to set the detail to be 16. We're going to set the dimensions to be 13. And then this, we're going to, last one we're going to leave as 2. We're now going to go down to our mix node, and we're going to bring that in fully. So we're also going to now quickly grab ourselves a moist texture. So we're just going to grab that and put that here. We're going to link fax. We're going to link color up to fax, and we're going to link vector up to vector. Give that a second. There we go. And now we will down here. If we're going to change this scale to be 27, the detail again to be 16, and then the roughness. You can sort of fine tune to how you want it. I'm going to leave it at 0.5. And then you can mess around with the distortion if you want. I will leave it at 0 because that's how I like it. We're now here on the strength. Going to maybe bring that in just a tiny bit until you're happy with it. So, I don't know, maybe. Point, point 0.9. I think it looks quite nice, so I will link leave that there. And now we can mess around with these two ramps as well. Just depending if you want it to be much darker, completely white, maybe with almost that darkness in between the cracks. Over here, how solid you want it to be, you can mess around with it as well. Just until you're happy with the sort of text you're writ with want. We're now going to go back to layout. And we're going to go to Render Engine, to Cycles, and then we're going to set it to GPU Complete. We're going to go to the Render tab. And then, here we go. Once it's loaded in, and it may take a few quick seconds, we've got a complete concrete texture. So you can see in the shading window, it sort of looks like broken concrete. You can now use throw these nodes on whatever you want, or you can render it out as a texture. So thank you for watching, if you like this video please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one, bye, bye!